So, I understand there was an incident recently. Do you want to tell us about that? <coughs> Honestly, what I'm about to tell you is, uh, I'm still having trouble processing it, to be honest. It was so weird. Like, I went for a normal doctor's checkup. I was supposed to get my flu shots. And as soon as the needle went in, I just passed out. And when I woke up, or at least when I, like, when I think I woke up, I don't even know where I was at. I was just presented with some obstacle course, like some dangerous stuff. Like I saw like buzz saws and like flames and knives like being launched, being launched across the pathways. And I was like, oh my God. And I couldn't get out of there because it was a narrow passage. I went through and let's just say, uh, um, the first thing that I had to do on this sort of obstacle course, I had to jump between these two buzz saws that were like that were spinning like this, and I had to be able to clear that clear that distance somehow. And let's just say the first time I tried, uh, I don't even know what happened to me, but somehow I found myself back at the start but I felt everything that happened when I touched those saws. And I still can't completely contemplate everything that happened. After I eventually made it past that point, I was presented with flames. It seemed like they were on a pattern of like shooting out into the passageway and then stopping. And I had to be able to run through that before the flames came back on, but the problem was it was an, it was just an irregular pattern, and somehow I miraculously got through that no problem. But then uh, I found myself back at the start, and all I felt was right before that happened was just a bunch of just sharp objects just piercing me, and I didn't even see what happened. So not only do I have, did I have to get through the bus saws again, and then get past the flame, now I had a new challenge that I didn't even know what it was. At this point, I heard a voice telling me that I had four lives left to get through this. And I was like, okay, this, this, is, this isn't a game. I got on my ninja shit, bro. I managed, I managed to clear the, the bus saws. And then I was reset on the flames. Cleared the bus saws again. Got to the flames. And then this third obstacle. It was a series of arrows that were just continuously shot. And I somehow had to evade all of them. And I want to say that it was about... 20, 20 maybe? <sighs> My God. I felt one go through my eye. I, <sighs> God. And the crazy thing is that like, I knew that I wasn't awake but I could feel everything that was happening to me. Have you ever felt that? Yeah. That's a common phenomenon. God. I just went and somehow I just gained some power that I didn't even know I had and found a loophole within within the arrows where there was a certain distance between the arrows and the wall that I could slip by. So I managed to get through. Then there was a four challenge. Still had three lives left, apparently. And... The challenge, as the announcer said, was that I had to defeat somebody. So my mind was just like, okay, all right, this is the last thing I need to do before I get out of here. I got three lives left. I was like, okay, let's do this. That's all it was. 
it was some about six six five I'd say, tall, muscular dude, had four arms. Each arm armed with a knife. That was some shit. Let's just say um, he uh, managed to take two of my lives. But for some reason, for this challenge, I didn't have to repeat it. Fucking grace of God. But yeah, he kicked my ass and beat me to a bloody hole. And I felt every second of it. And that's something I wouldn't wish on my worst enemy. I managed to disarm him with one of his, his knives and cut one of his arms off. In the midst of this struggle, I managed to slow his throat. And then I was congratulated, and then I woke up. And I want you to tell me something. I've heard something about this about this thing called the fifth dimension, right? Yes. You know, where people go through some strange experiences. That's right. Was this it? It's hard to tell. We were just about to ask you, actually, if, if, uh, if you have any kind of proof. Um, we're still trying to there's figure no, out what the fifth no dimension way. even is. You're, you're one of a finite number of, of you know, people curious about it that are having to be a part of this. Yeah, so we just, I have no way to prove this other than stories that I've heard. Like, have you heard of anything like this before? Like, as far as, like, these crazy experiences? Like, I know you've heard about the fifth dimension. We've had, we've, we have a lot, a lot of uh, people come to us with, with very bizarre stories, but not quite like you're describing with an obstacle course. So there's really no way. Perhaps. No one has gone through what I, what I went through. Perhaps the fifth dimension is subjective. Perhaps it varies by person. There's really no way of knowing. Yes, it's a. Uh, it's part of our. Uh, it's part of our career description to never write anyone off as false. So. Yeah, you know. recording this, right? Yes, uh, you don't. You don't mind it being used as part of our YouTube no, documentary, people right? People need to hear about this. People need to hear about this. Yeah. Okay, great. But what's what's your what's your name? I'm sorry, I, I forgot. I'm. Uh, I'm. Uh, well, like, do you have like a nickname? Like, I'm I'm Agent know. Ivan of the IDCP. Thank you, Ivan. Like, I need people to know that like if anything happens to you like this, you need you can come see this guy. Right. Apparently, other people have. Yes. Well. Yes. Thank you for the information. 